Hello, welcome back to Rayhouse Gaming. In my last video, I shared replay of some new heroes from the new fashion. Uh, I think there are three or four new heroes from this nation in that video. If you haven't watched that video, you can go and watch. Today, we will talk about this guy right here. This is the main guy that I uh, mentioned in that video. Currently, we have Gunning, Guan Yu, Sun, Sun, Xiang. They can do multiple attack using Insignia. Their damage is very high and a lot of people like to use them, okay. But they cannot compare with this guy. This guy does not need any items, insignia or whatever. His skill and his talent allow him allow him to do multiple attacks. Okay, so today we'll talk about we'll talk about him. I have been thinking how I can tell you about these new heroes because some of them, you know, their skills are very, very complicated and very long. But now I have one idea. Every Thursday, we have the CS Arena, of course. So from Chinese account, I will try to find a replay of those new heroes. Then I will share you the replay. And I will, so after the replay, I will tell you the information of the new heroes in that replay. Together or in one video, I think that is that will be easier to understand. So today, I will only talk about this guy right here. Other heroes, I will talk about them next time. Okay. So let's go to the here. His name is Wen Yan, by the way. Normal attack, attack landwise dealing 60% damage. Skill attack, attack two landwise enemies dealing 126% damage. Meaning like two landwise, you will have maximum four heroes, right? So maximum four enemies. Less one target damage increased by 18%. His skill will also uh, inflict one effect on two allies and one, I call it aspiration. This is my own translation. When the allies with this effect move, Wen Yan will do one extra skill attack. So his skill only can allow him to do two extra skill attack. Okay. Tail number one, when allies do critical attack, Wen Yan can do one extra normal attack, limited one time from each ally. Tail number one will also increase 20% HP and 20% attack for the whole team. So tail number one, if I understand correctly, you have five allies, right? If five of your allies do critical attack, then Wen Yan can it means Wen Yan can do five extra normal attack. Okay. It is crazy. Okay, it is crazy. And yeah, of course, it is limited one time only from one ally. If if he does not have this limit, then okay, um, yeah, then you don't need to play this game already. Talent number two, one allies from the same nation moves three times. He can do one extra skill attack. Uh, this attack will only have forty eight percent damage and does not consume anger. Of course, that's normal. So uh, this this talent is a bit expensive because you need three golden heroes from this nation because not not three lah okay you need another golden hero from this nation because this nation only have golden hero and one that uh one one the hero from the same nation moves three times then he can do one extra skill attack okay in that in last video if you you can go and count if you want to. Okay. Uh, what I remember is the first move in the first round, healer makes the first move. Then uh, position one and two make the second and third move. After that, this guy made one skill attack. That's what I remember. But anyway, that that's you can check in that video. Taylor number three skill will deal extra forty percent indirect damage. Um, we have some items you know that can reduce direct damage. So um, that's why I want to mention indirect damage here. They cannot be reduced by those items. Okay. During the round, each extra skill attack will increase this damage by one hundred percent. The original percentage is forty percent. So by one hundred percent, it will become eighty percent. Maximum is one hundred sixty percent. Artifact skill for each death of ally, each of your attack has 40% indirect damage, maximum 160%. Okay, this is another extra damage for this guy. When your team has two or less heroes alive, Wen Yang can move two times in one round. This does not include his original movement, okay? Uh, I mean, this is his original movement. 
it is not including those extra attacks okay so these are all the information about this guy if you just count two extra skill attack from his skill maximum five extra normal attacks from talent number one and um talent number two is it is a bit expensive um what i understand is i don't know whether it's true okay what i understand is there are some heroes in this nation they can move multiple times in one round too uh i don't know i'm not sure whether it counts the extra movement of of those other heroes okay if it counts let's say one hero move three times then this guy will move one extra attack okay um I'm not sure but if but if it is correct then he can make he can get some extra skill attack from tail number two too um tail number three no did uh artifice give no okay so you know um skill two attacks tail number one five attacks tail number two let's just call it one extra skill attack so total it is uh eight extra attacks including normal and skill attack okay i am totally sure it is more than any of the three heroes that we have like guan yu or or ganning or sun sunshine okay so that's about this guy and um that's all about this video um yeah um, it is we don't we will not have it very soon but uh, there are some news that Taiwan version will have these heroes soon. So I think uh, let me just share with you guys slowly. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.